Okay, so here we are at Daigo's uh, Fast Five Racing Shop. Uh, one of the three locations I guess we'll check out today. Um, we'll do the shop first, then move to his house, the private garage, and then uh, head over to Daigo Land, his playground. Larry already wants to take every single car I'll he sees. I'll take it! <laughs> and we got Ben here with the NSXR. So if you remember this on the channel, it's still looking nice and clean, huh? Yeah, so yeah. what about you guys? <laughs> There's so many cars hanging out here. Old builds, new builds, crashed builds. Cool Z20 Sora here on the corner. Crown with fender flares. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. We miss you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us come. Oh, there's even a Testarossa. Oh my God. So much. Every time we come here, it's crazy. I haven't seen this in a while. Look at the intake on the. Is this a Yon Mary? Yon Mary drag car, L series. Look at the rear end on this. It's gonna be insane. What is this? Wow. Talk about variety. You just expect drift cars when you come here, but it's actually even drag cars apparently. TRD NASCAR V8. Wise Fab. That's the Supra. Some of the 2J. S13. Joa. Chassis being stripped down. Roll cage being built. Oh my god. SLS? Real. Oh, GT car? And GT. Ah, D Station. Mercedes factory race car. Speechless. This Drift. <laughs> this was a Super GT. Super GT. Yeah. Super GT Super 300. GT 300. 300. GT 300. Yeah. Car. Goldwing drift car. Yes, please. Oh, cycle zone. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Robbie just showed up. This is how you gotta do it, Jason. Come on, come on. Cycle zone. Don't hit your head, dude. <laughs> you gotta be careful not to take that out. We always talk about the bow, the deep bow. Yeah. You got three cameras on you, dude. I know. Like, oh, <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Look at this GR Corolla they're working on. I'm guessing this is getting converted to rear wheel drive only. Wow. Definitely you need to come back and see what's going to go on with this. Obviously, something special going in here in the middle. Oh, wow. VR38. Yon Rita, Yon Tinch, Yon Tensang, 4.3 HKS stroker kit on this. What? Jesus, look at the turbo Wait. placement. What is this? This is how you guys do things here? This right? is how, how you got a brand new you GR Corolla. And then make a trash pile <laughs> here. <laughs> wow. Look at the Wise Fab angle kit. This S13. Yeah. Well, it looked like almost polystyrene from here, but it's actually a carbon rotor. That's insane. Look at the angle on this shit. J S13 Pandem kit. All the goodies in the back. Radiator. Fuel cell. And right-hand drive. We go from carbon brakes to non-ventilated extremely thin because of course with drifting you don't really need that much braking power up front as Taniguchi just told us earlier on right he's gone for the R34 Skyline rear calipers on the front because he said he doesn't really need that crazy amount of braking force carbon Kevlar all across and this this thing just blows my mind drag guys out there will probably tell me in the comments what uh, rear end this is because you know what's going to happen to this, it's right? It's going to be a drift car. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, Daigo likes to upset. We'll have to figure out what's going on with this. It's just, uh, it's just got coilovers for now. It's his. Oh, right. Yeah. Also drift build? <laughs> just, just to play. Uh, like, just to not play full on drift car, but something you could skid around, I guess. Okay. 
Because these these are known to be terrible for handling because uh, the engines on top of the transmission. Ah, turbo. You know how like some, you know how a lot of uh, like when you check online and stuff, there's a lot of like supercars with crazy turbos and all kinds of shit in the back. Yeah, yeah. Manifold and everything. He just wants to. Or I guess he wants something like that. So, okay. Yes. So you it is I mean? a play car, but I guess it's Daigo's level of play car. Yeah, car. okay. Okay, so that makes more sense. Yeah, so it's going to be crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there you go, purist. You're going you're gonna to love that. Yeah, the engine's on, tr on top of the transmission. So it has a really high center of gravity at the back, right? So if you let go, it just spins on you. A lot of people have that. I have no idea. So it's a Yon Mary Skyline, the 211, but it's, oh. it's going to be a drag car, I guess. Okay. L series. I don't know. We'll have to ask. I think it was obviously crashed. It was obviously crashed, so I guess they, they salvaged a chassis here. done checking out the shop and now we are moving to uh, the playground because we don't want to miss out on light so so many cool cars today yep arrive as we're trying to prepare to leave we have another cool addition in the cool car lineup an Impul March K11 how sick is this now where the hell did you go and find this <laughs> really far away <laughs> yeah apparently so that is so cool. Wait, it's Nismo version? No, Impo. <laughs> Even cooler. <laughs> oh, Wide body Impo. So this car probably invented over fenders for the modern car era. Man, what a turnout today. Look at the crowds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we moved to... Did I park here? Yeah, anywhere. Welcome to Daigoland. Admission fee. So again, it's changed quite a lot since I was here last with Larry. Uh, he's added some concrete walls here to create that uh, corner that you see him drifting on social media. He still has the lineup of Ferraris here and he's finished that little pool area over there where he does, I guess, parties. Tons of palm trees. So he's recreated a little slice of America, the west side kind of looking part of America. He does love his palm trees and he was telling us last time that he imported so many of these um, Joshua trees as well. Very pricey stuff apparently. Oh here's that 32 that used to be at his shop. 
Yeah, with the 2J pretty much inside the dashboard. Absolutely crazy. A couple of beaters. They get thrown around here. So I just can't get over the amount of palm trees that have been planted around this massive like power line here. And of course over here is the Fat Five Racing, I guess main restaurant shop bar area. I'm not sure if it's open. We'll take a look later on. A bunch of tables outside here. And these are the two practice cars that they use out here. So if you drop by, you can actually get rides. You gotta pay for it, 6,000 yen for a ride, but Daigo will take you out. One of the cars here on display is getting polished. Diablo MV Augusta. 360 Spider. And a few older ones here, including the Testarossa. So Daigo is actually going to take out Larry, one of the Miatas, and we get some uh, drifting action today as the sun is setting. up the tires before our session. Daigo's turn to warm up, so Larry's riding with him. Yeah, so we're actually going around the whole compound. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The wall there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is insane. Little did I know I was going to get up to something like this today. Wow. We'll keep the camera like this. See when they come around. <laughs> Larry's losing his shit. <laughs> As we were getting close, yeah. I had to check to make sure the door was closed because I was worried I was just gonna fly out and get ran over. Dude, we, we hit the wall at one point too. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, like I was saying, I didn't expect this to be happening today. Wow. If you have this space, and it's kind of genius because you have this space. You have a 100 horsepower car, two of them with crappy tires on it, and you're in first gear the whole time. You can still do wall rides, you can still do crazy tandems, and it's just a lot slower. But the excitement is the same. Like, that's very uh, true. Yeah. I'm blown away. I'm Proven so everybody, right there. Everybody make your own land. Yeah. So, Larry will come and see you there. <laughs> so, we'll come see Larry Land. <laughs> One day, maybe I'll have a Larry Land.
Ben's looking very happy. <laughs> Dude, you're going in? I guess. <laughs> you're gonna follow Ben, right? I'm gonna try. Okay, he's off. I love how everybody's just moved back. <laughs> oh, we trust them. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll find a tree to go behind. Okay, cool thing is that um, Daigo just gave the okay to Jake to take his Australian registered S13 out for a little spin. So this thing is actually here in Japan for a year on carne. Enjoyed it. <laughs> this is gonna make us week, month, year. <laughs> So we're here at Daigo's private residence and we're going to go and check out his insane garage. Oh my god, it just keeps getting better. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. What? Things are changing here. It's a little <laughs> crazier. So some... It's funny because when we were here last time... Is he even a colonel? And a super trofeo Lamborghini Huracan. Oh my god. Peekaboo. What is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> this is wild. Hey, which one do you want out of here? I'll take the Cullinan. This is Rolls Royce. There. This is probably his newest edition. And I was like at a shop earlier, I was like, hey, where's your, you know, controls? And he's like, oh yeah, this got white seats, so the seats will get dirty. That's why he bought the Mercedes SUV to use that, so he doesn't have to drive this. Makes so he, total sense. Wait, I was like, what, what? <laughs> wait, so he drives the Mercedes SUV back and forth between the shop, his house, and his track. I don't know, what I get? Yeah. <laughs> and then when he's done, after he's done cleaning, <laughs> he gets in the Rolls Royce. No, no, no. So it's not even just a regular Colin, it's a Mansory. Kitted one. With gigantic 24 inch wheels. But these two are the ones that I instantly noticed coming in. I saw he posted this um, pairing a couple of days back on Instagram and I was like, what? He actually kept these cars? So these were built for TMR uh, a couple of Tokyo songs ago. And they're both running NASCAR V8s, I believe. We'll definitely have to open up the bonnets and take a look inside. Absolute craziness. And the width. That's some over fender action there. It's insane, right? Liberty Walk 488, 458. Ken Mary Hako. Maranello over there. 
Yeah, and people build time attack cars. You should just buy a decommissioned Huracan Trofeo and you're good to go. 348, 355. Oh wait, this is a 355 too. Oh, opulence. Customized modified opulence. Nice Ducati Super Sport 400 in the foyer. <laughs> so what what is this engine exactly? Mopar Nasta. NASCAR engine Mopar. Both of these are the same engine. I noticed the coil placement is different on this one. Both cars, of course. Run hydros, full roll cages, digital display. Absolutely wild. Radiators in the back. Okay, so we're back at the compound now. And I'm just shocked how bright the lights in here are. <laughs> Look at this. Just leave open? And I think that will be the end for Daigo's visit. We uh, had an insane time here at his uh, shop, compound and his house, private garage. So massive thank you to Saito for opening up the doors and allowing us to just roam free and check out all the crazy cars that he has and has built. And I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you check back soon for more because there's a lot more coming before and after Tokyo Islam.